Hello, my name is Indira from Indie Arts Creations and I am going to do a piece for you today um, with a theme of Valentine's Day. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be using um, a couple of pinks, one being metallic, a red, a little metallic white, and some silver. What I'm gonna do, the technique I'm gonna do is a open cup pour, which I have a cup that's open and I'm gonna sit it down. And I'm gonna do a black negative space. I thought with these pinks and the metallic, I thought a black negative space would be nice. So negative space is the, um, the color that you put down on the canvas. So you might wonder like, well, why do you need a negative space? So you need a negative space because this is what you call fluid art or acrylic um, paint pouring. And so to move the paint around on the canvas, you need something for it to move around. So that's why you would, um, start your canvas off with a negative space. Um, primarily, you'll see people starting their negative space um, either black or white, um, unless they're doing a special project and they just want a different color. But generally, the two colors that you do a negative space with are black and white. So as you can see along my right, which is your left, I believe, um, the paints, I already have the paints prepared. And I'm just trying to get this black around. Some people use a hair dryer to do it. Um, I haven't done a lot with the hair dryer techniques or um, pouring or uh, getting my paint around on the canvas with. Um, a hair dryer. So, my channel is new. Thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe. Um, everything will be in the description. The size canvas that I'm using is a 10 by 10. There's a couple of bubbles in here and I'm going to use the torch in a minute. I was trying to just get a little of the black around on the sides, which will help me later. And I'm trying not to use my hands yet. And I'm trying to be very conscious of making sure that I make sure that you all can see everything um, that I'm doing. I'm hoping that this could inspire others to want to paint. Um, painting is a very therapeutic hobby. I've been doing this, this type of painting for a little bit. I've always kind of painted and draw. I like to draw. Um, I guess I've been painting for a couple of years, but just not this type, not this style of painting. Um, and I don't know when I'm going to get back to like regular painting, like painting landscapes, painting different things. Um, but I'll get back there. Uh, I hadn't been drawing in a while, but I did draw um, within the last two weeks. I drew a couple of things. So that's that. I'm gonna put this all the way over. So I'm going to torch out a couple of the air bubbles. And you wanna get as many of the air bubbles out as possible. Um, another reason you might use your torch, as you'll see a little later, is for cell production. So if you want cells, um, 
you can definitely get cells without having to use a product like silicone. Some people like using silicone. I've never used it. Um, some of the other artists that I follow really don't use it. Um, what I what I've read and what I've know what I know about the silicone is that if you use silicone um, when you go to varnish it it could be a little difficult so that's why some people don't use it so I'm just gonna start I have a hot pink I have a metallic pink a crimson red a metallic white and a silver so the whole thing with this technique is that I'm going to pour the paints into the open cup and as you'll see over time what will happen is that the paints will start to seep out of the cup and if we get cells at that point, we get them. If we don't, we may get them when I go to torch again. So we'll just see. Um, I'm thinking that the paint that I prepared is enough to do maybe like two layers of paint. Um, Another thing, you when you mix paint sometimes, meaning when you have like a regular acrylic versus a metallic acrylic, that could also produce cells, just the differences in them. Um, I thought that it would be a little fun to add like a little white, a little silver. My colors primarily, I want them to be the pinks and the red to capture for Valentine's Day. So as you see, the colors are starting to seep out and look, we have cells already. So if you're a cell person, that's exciting. If you don't want cells all the time, you know, then this one would produce cells. Um, another way to produce cells, another another thing to look at when you're producing cells or why cells form is um, the type of pouring medium you use. So for me, I use Floetrol and water um, primarily. Sometimes I do make a pouring medium out of um, glue wall. Floetrol and water. So it just depends kind of like what I have. I do have a lot of Floetrol um, And it just depends When I get glue all I don't always get glue all so as you can see There's a lot of cells. I'm taking a cup off at this point because to me as I'm looking at this, I feel like this is definitely a lot of paint on the canvas. And I don't think we're going to have any problems in terms of not having enough paint. So I'm just going to use the torch just a little. I see a, I see a couple of air pockets. Oh, I thought I was going to use that. I must have, oh, yikes. I think I ran out of butane. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I see... <laughs> I don't know why it's not coming on. I wanted to get a couple of the air pockets out. That's what I'm trying to use the torch for. Not necessarily cells. We have plenty of cells here. So this is looking nice. I like the colors so far. Um, I don't think I have to do much tilting. I mean, I do have to tilt, but what I'm saying is that I do believe I have enough paint. So... Um, I think I have to always be conscious of where the camera is and making sure that when I'm tilting, I'm tilting in a way that you all can see what I'm doing. Sometimes I tend to tilt more towards me. And if I do that, now that I'm doing it, now I'm filming, if I do that, then you all will not really get to see what I'm doing. So I'm trying to tilt in such a way that it's going to, that you all will be able to see what I did. So as you see, that went a little fast. I mean, it's not that the canvas is so big to begin with, but that went a little fast. Um, so what I will do is I will 
make sure that all of the corners are done um i really like it i will let's see i will try to see if any more cells are going to produce so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off one of my gloves since I have. And the only reason I'm really taking it off is because I don't want to get all of the paint on the torch. So cells can also produce, they will come up sometimes from under the paint. So as you see, this, this is really nice. Like we see the metallic in it. I'm not sure if you can see these. If you can see the white starting to come up from under, but it is um, a little. Um, I like these colors. I feel like the metallic um, pink uh, kind of stole the show away from the hot pink a little bit, but that's okay. I like the red in it, so this is definitely nice. Um, and it was just the way that the pour went. Um, you know, we just have a lot of silver over here, a lot of red over there. It's just segmented, but that's okay. So again, thank you for watching. I will um, clean up the corners a little bit, and I will bring the camera down, and I will show you the piece um, up close. Um, right now, it's a lot shiny. Uh, and when it dries, it's going to dull a little bit, but this piece will be varnished at some point, like within the next week, you want, you really want to let your paint dry, your canvas dry. Um, sometimes we think that if it's dry to the surface, it's dry and it really isn't. So there's a difference between drying and curing the canvas. And so you just want to make sure that you wait anywhere from like three to five to maybe even seven days, depending on how much paint is on the canvas so for instance if you had used a lot if you had saturated your canvas with your negative space um, and there was a lot you may want to just wait a little longer so i will like i said i'll clean up the edges and i will bring you down for a close-up Hi, welcome back. I'm going to take you in for a close-up. So I'm starting with the left-hand corner. As you can see, the left-hand corner starts to tip with a little black. And we have the red and the two pinks. Uh, we don't see a lot of the hot pink, but it is there. We have some nice cells there. We see how the white had come through um, the canvas. And then the bottom is pink, a little black, a little white. As we move over to the center in the right hand corner, the right hand corner starts with a little black and red. And then as we move up, we have a great deal of silver to end the um, right hand side. And it ends with a little red and pink. Thank you for watching. Happy Valentine's Day and a special happy birthday to my brother Warren Jr. Thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel.